Welcome back. All right, so quick news of the day video for all you fine people. Mostly World Junior stuff we'll be talking about today. Two minor signings, one NHL-related, one not NHL-related. So we'll start off with the NHL-related signing. Jackson Cates has signed a one-year contract extension with the Philadelphia Flyers, thus the uh, AHL affiliate of the Flyers being warned for this video, $775,000. So he may end up playing in the AHL, he may stay in the NHL, we'll see. But uh, yeah, $775,000 for Jackson Cates, not too shabby. Pretty good work if you can get it. So all the best to Cates. And I will say this, the, the Flyers, there's a lot of doom and gloom around the Flyers. I'll be interested to see if they can have a bounce back this coming season. I, I think it's possible. It's it, The roster is capable, and I think their goaltending is better than it gets credit for, too. I think Carter Hart had a decent season, so we'll see. And maybe Jackson Cates is part of that as well, right? All right. The meat and potatoes of this video, World Juniors. Uh, the World Juniors going on right now. Uh, at last, last time I checked, uh, Austria and Switzerland are tied 1-1 in the first period. So Austria trying to, you know, maybe get in. Switzerland, a team that uh, the, the better teams in the, in, in the tournament sometimes have trouble with. Not always, but sometimes. And so we'll see how that goes. Starting at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern, Finland's playing Canada. And... Germany plays Sweden tonight at 7 o'clock uh, Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. Sweden's got to be looking for more of a 60-minute effort than what we saw last night against the Americans. Now, from yesterday, Latvia made huge news. First off, uh, in beating Czechia, that is their first ever win at the World Juniors. That's it. Uh, Latvia was brought in last minute. Uh, the Russians are not in this tournament. Latvia was the replacement, and they were seen as kind of an also-ran, kind of like, well, they're here, nothing's, they're they're going to get destroyed. And Latvia has been much better than they've been given credit for, and, and it's shown in the results, so I'm glad that they have clinched third spot. I was already hearing last night, well, do you want to play Latvia, or would you rather play the Czechs? Okay, that's that's dangerous talk. Don't just say, well, we'd like to take the team that has nothing to lose, feels pretty confident, feels pretty good right now, rather than the team that might be down on themselves, might feel kind of a little bit out of it, you know, this kind of thing. The quarterfinals get underway on Wednesday. There's four games being played on Wednesday. I believe it's the Americans playing against the Czechs, and Sweden and Germany will be squaring off to decide who gets to play off against Latvia. Uh, with the second spot in, in their, their group. But I don't think Latvia is going to be an easy out. And so, yeah, and of course they have those fantastically gorgeous jerseys. Not that it's that easy to find World Junior Championship jerseys. Tournament's always in Canada. You would think they would stock every team. You would be wrong. So, yeah, I mean, I already got a bunch of Canadian jerseys and I've got, of course, the World Cup of hockey jerseys. It'd be nice to have a Latvian. I, I really like the color. The color of their flag is a lot of fun. So, Hey, you know, we'll see if Latvia can pull off an upset in the quarters. We'll see if, if this is their one and done. But it's nice. And, of course, this is a tournament where there's no relegation. Uh, relegation will be a thing in the next tournament. So whichever team doesn't finish with a quarterfinal appearance doesn't have to worry in this tournament about not being able to play in the next one. But that comes back in the next one. And they had an interesting conversation yesterday, too, during the game. I watched between Sweden and the U.S. on what if North American sports had relegation. Yeah, that would not go well. But I will say, I was like, that might make for an interesting video topic at some point. What if you did do relegation? How would that look? So, anyways, that being said, uh, last item for today, Colton Sevier, a depth player that I, I like Colton Sevier. I liked him when he was in Dallas. He's bounced around the league a little bit. He is now signed with Bern of the Swiss League. So... Colton Sevier headed overseas. That might very well end his NHL career. At some point, somewhere, someday, I'll be doing a Colton Sevier career video, and there'll be a lot of comments of who and why. But these things happen. All right, so there you go. Just a quick little news video for all you fine people. And again, congratulations to Latvia on a breakthrough victory yesterday. Looking forward to seeing what they can do in the quarters. I will always root for an underdog. It always makes for a good story. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.